First I use the matte peach, now the shimmery one. I'm using the shimmery one, the middle of the eye. You guys can even use your fingers if you guys want. And dab it in. Now for the outer corner, I'm going to use the Body Shop purple color, which is uh, the Petroria, Petroria. Well, this is a difficult one, Prashant. <laughs> Petroria Amethyst. Exactly. <laughs> Stress. So By the way, guys, Sean is actually um, from Germany. Born and raised in Germany. He's actually uh, um, from Kerala, uh, originally from Kerala, but born and raised in Germany. So, um, English is really way <laughs> far from being his mother tongue <laughs> because it's either German or it's Malayalam Malala. when they speak at home. So, sorry guys. <laughs> so, in the outer corner, I'm going to mix these two colors to get the really nice blend of freshness. Is that the purple? Yeah, look, look up. And I'm going to bring in this color. Guys, can you guys see it? Because there's a lot of light and I'm really not able to can they see really... Can in the light? If you guys have any questions as well, I can, I can probably hear you from there. So Please. if you have any questions, they can easily ask. We'll have a round of questions at the end as okay, well. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. But even during the but tutorial. Yeah. yeah, sure, sure. If there's anything you want to ask, I can hear you from here, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, we want the look on first. On eyes or on like whatever it is, if you want to ask anything. Restricted to makeup. <laughs> they will. They will. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a question, Sean. Yes. What is the absolute no-no for eye makeup? Like something that you should just not do, you know, any uh, age group. And then you can probably tell something for a specific age group. Um, I would say... Something that may be a trend, but you think that it's not... Great. Uh, something that is For no one to judge other people's preference of like makeup or how they want to like you know, present themselves. But I mean, there's certain things that would probably suit you and not suit you. It's probably important to know those things. Like, um, I would say dark eyes and dark things. Yes. I love it. <laughs> so he loves it. You know what I mean? Like, everyone has their own preference. And like, it's, it's uh, you know, so it's difficult for us to actually make a judgment on that. I mean, I don't think we really should. People should be free and entitled to do whatever they want to do when it comes to makeup or dressing or whatever it is. But like say, like I said, it is important to know, maybe there's something that's not suiting you. Maybe that is something that, you know. Like for me, I think um, what doesn't work is... Two dark eyes? Yeah. If for I Jackie's face, I've realized eyeliner makes, looks the best. Like whatever we do, I know that suits nice suits eyeliner the most. Yeah, I know that suits me the most, most so, so I usually go with that. Person to person. Um, having an extremely dark, um, uh, what is that called? Yeah. Smoky, yeah. Eyes. Smoky eyes. Sometimes that looks a little bit like too strong on me, so that's something I wouldn't go with. And then, so it depends on what's the person. Yeah. I, I, I think know your face, know what actually works on you, know what you know. But don't be afraid to like, if there's something you really like, don't be afraid to like do that. That's who you are, so it's <laughs> So now I'm going to use the black castle of the body shop. Yeah, and I'm going to only use it on the corner of my eyes and the ends. Mm 
to make this look a little bit more intense. the eyes looks really large and it looks gives her almond shape. So the eyes are almost done. Now the most important of course is the mascara. How many of you guys love mascara? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure all of you. Where's the eyelash There's one step. I think you guys 120% of us love mascaras. Huh? 120% of us love mascaras, yes. we can't go out without Of mascara. course, mascara is a must, it's a real, real must. Honestly, like sometimes if I've just carried like way too little makeup in my bag, um, yeah. just a mascara, I make sure at least that's part Color. of my makeup kit. Because like you can use that even like to give yourself like a little bit of like eyeliner along the, you know, along the lid. And mascara, I mean, it's, it's so important. It just makes your eyes pop. So... Uh, yeah. Mascara is the most important, guys. Now I'm going to curl the lashes, which is really, really important, guys. Curling lashes are one of the most important factors to make the eyes look really big. Even if you don't have the mascara and you just curl your lashes, it works. I mean, it doesn't work as effectively, but it does definitely opens up the eyes. And now it comes to the mascara, and I'm going to use the lash fiber extension. How many of you guys have used it? One person. <laughs> Only one person. Yeah, me too. Okay, two, three, four, five, many. So tell me, there's a trick to use. Okay, guys, do you know what does mean the uh, fiber uh, lash extension? So it's one side fiber and one side is the mascara. So how it gets the fake effect is Jackie, explain. <laughs> okay, you do. Okay. Okay. So basically, um, you add the mascara. Okay, and after applying the mascara, you can apply the other side, which are these little like fiber extensions. So just as the effect of putting extensions in your in your lashes, this gives an extremely effective effect because it just creates volume and um, it just latches onto the mascara. So it creates like I mean, the effect is absolutely amazing. Like you won't even need extensions after this. Can you guys see it? What I did? So you have to after after the uh, fiber, you have to put the mascara. The mascara yeah. So you put the mascara back on, it's seriously the most amazing effect. I actually don't have that many, like my lashes aren't as thick and luscious and curly. So this really, really works for me because on screen as well, we can't really use um, falsies and stuff like that. So this gives such a natural effect. Look at the effect. Can you guys see it? It just, it just gets home. that fake effect because it, <laughs> the, the, the first mascara coat makes it, helps it also to stick on to your lashes. Because in the starting that used to be like, I don't want this mascara, Shan. Then we came to know, okay, this no, is the easiest way. We, we actually did it wrong in the beginning. Yeah. We used to use the fibers first and then use the mascara. mascara. And what was happening was on my eyelash, the fibers were getting all stuck because there was no mascara coating, so he actually advised me wrong. <laughs> but now she's like, yes, I love it every day. It's the easiest way. You guys don't need to use even fake lashes. They are amazing, guys. This is one thing you guys should have in your kit. It's part of the signature line. Two point. They come in many different colors as well. Yeah, that's really in trend now. Um, Shan, you could show the colors as well. There is a blue one which I have kept for my next look, yeah. but they have a beautiful green one also, which yes. we have used. Uh, there's a purple also. There's a purple, yeah. The green one you guys must have seen in the photo shoot we have done for uh, the body shop we have used it last year.
Guys, can you see the difference? If you've done full eye makeup, don't forget to lower mascara, the bottom lashes, because the effect then just looks complete. So we always make sure that we put mascara on the bottom lash as well. Sean, any tips for applying mascara? Applying mascara, the easiest is Jackie knows how to do it. When you guys apply the mascara, that's, she gives a pressure so that it goes till the roots of your lashes. So every time I, I, I hold the portion in this area, Jackie gives pressure so that you get the mascara till inside your roots. So it will look really nice and full of it. Here guys, this is the magic mascara I think everyone should have in your kit because it gives you it's such an amazing actually it's really thick guys, trust thing. me my eyelashes are not this thick and they're not this long looking, it's the fiber actually that's created the illusion so um, if you haven't tried it out, please try it out because it's great for an everyday use as well yes. now it's time to define the eyebrows and I love the body shop uh, eyebrow definer because it's three in one one is the brown color which you guys all need to define the eyebrows so for Jackie, how do I do my eyebrows? So basically, um, I, we only do the top part of my eyebrows. Um, they're quite thick and dark anyway, but um, it's just cleaner if you just, I mean, fill them in a little bit. So for me though, we just fill in the top part. Um, the bottom part, I feel, would just kind of like create too less of a gap between my eye and the eyebrows. So doing the top part of the eyebrow kind of just gives enough space in between the eye, the eyebrows, and it just creates also a little bit more thickness. Um, so I guess everyone's eyebrows are so different, so just figure out which one kind of works best for you. Um, filling in your eyebrows always, you know, gives it a much cleaner look. Yes. Brushing your eyebrows is something very that's important. also very important. Which is the biggest password of this brush, you guys have the brush It's visit. actually a brush as well. It just, um, it fluffs them out, you know, and it cleans them up, so don't forget to brush your eyebrows. And the third one is the highlighter, which is really nice to define the eyebrows. And what I do is I only use it in the front of an eyelid, like not throughout, only in the front and till the arch. I never bring it down because when you bring her any highlighter below the, the brow, you will start feeling your eyes, your eyes are droopy. So what I do is I just bring it from the front till the middle of the eyebrow and I stop it there because that will not give you the illusion of droopy eyes. I mean like yeah, but exactly, everyone's eyebrows are so different. So if you actually have like maybe higher eyebrows like that, you could probably do it, but because mine go quite downward, um, it's again, you know, makeup is all about illusion and uh, highlighting things, um, maybe hiding flaws if anything. Um, but at the end of the day also just having fun. So we've, I mean, we've worked together for so long. Me and Sean have actually worked together for like seven years now. <laughs> so yeah. we've figured out way too many things. and. The most amazing thing is you can continue. Uh, with makeup, there's like so much to always discover. Yeah. So now what are you doing? Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the eyes are done. What do you guys think? The eyes are defined. It's much lighter. Come on, I think guys, Sean deserves an applause for this. <laughs> He's under so much pressure right now. I can't believe he did. Oh, right, right, right. I can't believe he did eyes right in front of an audience. Oh my god, and that's like really, really nice, Sean. <laughs> so the eyes are done. Now the face is almost done. Now the final one is the lips. For the lips, I see. I look really different from when I came on stage to now. Everything has just been like highlighted or accentuated or even like contoured down so and I think that's what we love like me and Sean both have this like love for makeup it's been used since the beginning of time I mean like in the times of like Cleopatra and stuff and you oh, know yeah. there's so many things to keep discovering it is an art form at the end of the day you know it's something that you um, can I think just be so creative <laughs> with so yeah now the next one is a real must is their lip scrub have you guys used it the body shop lip scrub and it's really nice because when you do lipstick for many hours, especially as for films, when you guys are doing makeup 
lipstick for the whole day it becomes dry yeah. and you get a skin like have you I actually have that, that extra skin which comes in the side especially with matte lipsticks and all so this really helps you to it doesn't come out after this anymore so it really helps so it's like a like a scrub which you guys can use it takes away the first layer of dead skin has can you see it the dead skin coming out it's really cool actually because this is actually something you can use uh, apply two or three times a day just to clean out if you have like lipstick that's maybe getting a little bit like uh, worn out throughout the day you just need to like so refresh see? it this actually helps and i do actually have um, the dry skin dryness off. as well, so this um, just freshens up everything, and, and it's peppermint, so it just kind of gives like a nice burst of fresh, freshness. So clean it off, and if it's possible, if you guys can use it like ten minutes, like ten minutes before your makeup itself, it's really good. But in a masterclass, I'm telling, showing you guys that. So if you guys clean it, see now Jackie's lips are really nice and clean. And after this, of course, everybody knows the Body Shop lip balm, for sure. Uh, all of you, right? Which is your favorite? Strawberry. <laughs> there it is. So whichever you guys prefer, some people like the stick, some people like the balm types. Jackie loves the balm. I have to have the strawberry lip balm. Like, I almost feel incomplete without it. It's by like my bedside, <laughs> it's in my handbag, it's on my set table, it's everywhere I go and it just smells so good and it really is very moisturizing. It's a really nice thick long moisturizer. Now it comes the last one which is the lip liner. How many of you love lip liner? I'm not sure everybody loves because it makes your lips look bigger, it makes the lips look plump. So for this look, I'm going to use the Lip Definer color. This is... Global Pink. Huh? Which one is it? Global Pink. It's a pink. Oh, it's a pink one. The XP doesn't see Okay, we'll read it. We'll it. You apply it and yeah, we'll read it out. Okay. It's a really nice natural color, you guys can see. Can you see that? And I like to draw Jackie's lips a little bit out. And it's really natural. Yeah, so we have like a little technique with lip liner. Can you guys see the difference between the two sides? It just gives you immediately the effect of nice so and fuller lips. Not only does it give you um, like an even kind of like lip and like a clarity on the lip as well. Um, Sean likes to draw this area out. He likes to draw this area out, so it just creates like a nice little roundness. And so I think that's the most amazing thing about lip liner. You can actually create your own shape. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Roll be Camellia. Okay, so alright. An amazing color. Don't use it too much. What I do is I love to keep it within the lips. Because I've already made this area darker with the lip pencil and then I smudge it. And the biggest plus point seriously saying about this, uh, the Body Shop lip, uh, lip matte lipsticks are they are really moisturizing. So you guys don't feel that extreme dryness because with any other lipsticks, when you guys see like a lot of other brands, they have it and it becomes so dry, especially there are some very famous social media lipsticks if you guys know, they make it so dry that I cannot even remove it and it's really not good for your lips. I mean, when you put lipstick on, uh, we are at jobs or at school or we're like you know at work, so we need our lipstick to be long lasting. Uh, and if you want to go with something matte, it usually is a little bit of a risk because it ends up drying and then just like leaving weird like you know marks and stuff like that. So I mean, this is something really amazing to go with the matte lip lip color because it's just it's actually really really moisturizing. It's very very soft on the lips as well. Yes. Now to finish this look, I'm going to use a little bit more blusher which is nice on the upper cheeks because it's really needed to bring out the color. Guys, me and Sean are really obsessed with the blush. <laughs> blush is the most important thing I think so. And again, now when the look is finished, I can see that I would like to give her much, a little bit more contouring. 
So you guys can build on your controlling more using this amazing product. Seriously, because this product is so light and it doesn't really give you a fake control look. Like whenever you guys have seen this, I've been using for very long for Jackie. If you guys see, it doesn't look really strong contour. Such a soft contour. And now I feel I can contour more. And it's matte, which is really good. Any contour product has to be matte. This is really amazing, this bronzer. What happens if it's not matte? Then you guys don't want to get the effect what you guys want. Like contouring is all about looking really skinny and chiseled. <laughs> and if it's having shine in it, then you guys will just look more rounder. The day look or the soft romantic look created by the amazing products of Body Shop, which in front of you guys' eyes, I think it's fresh, really, really nice and soft. Good job, Shine. <laughs> 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 No, it's amazing. That's really, really cool. It is definitely, I mean, like, if you guys have any questions, this is um, Ashes of Rose. Ashes of Rose. Shine. And, and uh, this is something I think that can really go transcend from daily to night. If you're looking for that natural look, if you're someone who's not into too much makeup. Oh my god, I just saw Sean's mom. I'm a <laughs> Great mom. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think it just, this is something, you know, this is one of the, um, you know, uh, different kind of like looks we have created for you guys today. Exactly. Uh, we'll be moving into our next one very soon, but if... Yes, but we are going to open uh, the floor for five questions only. So if you have any questions, you can ask. Do you guys have any questions about this look or like maybe about your face shape or if there's any like makeup tips for you guys? Any more products? Yes? You know what? It is so lightweight. Honestly, I mean, this is something I use on a daily, daily basis. Um, it, I would probably say it is because it's so light. You just, it just absorbs in your skin. You won't feel it. And um, yeah, it stays. It, it's actually it's it lightweight, stays, it's but it's long lasting. It, it is long lasting. It is definitely long lasting. Yeah. Thank you. Should definitely try it if you haven't tried it. <laughs> yes. Hi, my name is Urvashi. That's the fab makeup that you've done, first of all. Um, I just quickly wanted to have, I had a question for Shan actually. There's one of your videos where you've mentioned uh, that you're not in support of using primers beneath the foundation. So your views on that? Sorry, sorry, what's wrong? You don't use primers under your foundation. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I so didn't use it here also, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, primers because... But you know, it's something, I mean, like, it's, it depends. See, my skin actually doesn't need, uh, you know, a primer. Um, because I come moisturized, I come prepped already. But there are some times where primers, I mean, like, if let's say you, you know, there are certain primers that actually make this, you know, make the foundation pop, make the concealer yes, stay. Especially when you're in European countries, I can understand because it's a cold country. You need that layer and layer so that the, the, the base stays. But India is already very humid. But it depends so on your skin. Country. It, it really depends, depends on, skin. on your skin. If you have extremely dry skin, I would, I would say, yeah, use it. But for Jackie and for films also I feel primer is just a layer of makeup which makes it just heavier and heavier so she is really particular about cleanser, toner and moisture and sunscreen she never comes even if I ask her please don't use today's sunscreen she will be like no 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 without sunscreen she doesn't go out only guys it's anti-aging so, <laughs> so on top of a sunscreen then again primer is actually not used yeah, but then like, again, I would say it depends. It depends Try it if it works for you. If it works, you know, it works for you. If it doesn't, then I mean, you know, it's yeah. something that he just doesn't use. <laughs> I don't use it. It does make your uh, makeup last just stay longer, but uh, we are there for touch up, so I don't do it for sure. <laughs> I'm there always for touch up, so there's no need. <laughs> okay. um, firstly, that's a. <laughs> Firstly, that's a beautiful look that you've done on Jackie and I think oh. she looks gorgeous. Oh, she doesn't need me actually. She's, she, <laughs> oh, she looks the same how she does. <laughs> wow, I love the bond you guys share. <laughs> I would want to compliment you for that as well. Okay, so my question is, I just... We have a huge round of applause! Yeah. And I have to say, you look stunning, stunning and you did absolutely amazing here. Thank you. We all...
जैकिन यहाँ पे जैकिन यहाँ अरे ज़्यादा हो गया अरे यहाँ पे यहाँ पे लोग क्या लोग क्या लोग क्या लोग क्या लोग क्या लोग क्या यहाँ पे यहाँ पे यहाँ पे Thank you. 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 Thank
I think it's it's absolutely unethical. I think it's very unnecessary in this day and age. Yeah. Um, you know, the body shop has, from the very beginning, from the 70s, uh, been against animal testing. And, um, you know, so if they were able to do it from that time, there's no reason why, you know, other cosmetic companies should not be doing that now and taking a stand. Um, we're encouraging a lot of people to join our movement called the FAAT movement, the fat movement, which is trying to eradicate animal testing completely from all uh, makeup products. And we, we really don't believe in that. Excited for the trailer is coming closer, race two. Race yes, three. race three. <laughs> race three yeah. Very excited, very excited. We've all worked very hard on the film and uh, it's turning out to look really amazing. So, yeah. Okay. Thank, thank, you so thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, you remember Malika? Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. How are you? Good to see you again. Do you remember that flight? I know. Such a coincidence. I knew that was so crazy. That's why I'm so happy you're here because I'm so close to places. Oh, it was meant to be. When you see this video, you're gonna go nuts. Where is it? Well, that's it. Come, come. It's just here. Yeah, come. Take some pills. Jacqueline, center. Jacqueline. One more left. Jacqueline, over here. Wait, 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 wait. Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Wait, wait, wait. One more left, my left, my. Physique 57 actually is an amazing class. It's something that I've been doing, uh, especially also when I travel. So, um, but yeah, this is a, it's, it's a it's a exercise that also incorporates like a dance form, which is something that uh, I can I really really love. Jacqueline, you're saying of having one of the most fittest bodies in Bollywood. So, uh, is that an added pressure on your shoulders to always maintain them? Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of added pressure, actually. No, but I mean, actually, sometimes I actually enjoy the added pressure because it just actually is more incentive to just, you know, kind of just keep staying fit. So, yeah. Who's the biggest man in Bollywood? Hmm. I would probably say it's across two people. I would probably say Salman and Tiger. Of course, we are also looking forward to Salman and you in race three. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. We've gone to some great locations. We've shot some really cool stuff. Um, you know, Remo, I feel, has been doing a fantastic job. The cast is all really excited. And yeah, we're all having a lot of fun as well. Oh, oh my God. Get ready for it. <laughs> Galti se gai.